All right, I've well, welcome and thanks for watching. I'm gonna start off by possibly reading this disclaimer. There is no sound. Oh, never mind. I think I hit the button already. But it was basically saying don't do anything in this game that you would in real life because it's not tested or, you know, agreed to, <clears throat> you know, help you survive in that scenario. It may kill you. It may result in your illness or injury. And this is the first time I'm seeing about this support portal, so. Next. I have yet to play any of the episodes of this game. I just been playing the sandbox and enough to kind of have an idea of what I'm getting myself into with this. Uh, okay, so here we go. Uh, rabbit skin hat. So I guess they didn't have that hat you can make at first. Well fed archive. Uh. Well, thanks for the bugs fixes, guys. Uh, and this too. I like it. I ain't gonna cry about it. New accessibility options. There we go. Yeah, it's been months since I played this game. So. I would like the, the non-narrative exploration survival experience where day-to-day -day survival is the only objective. Death is the only ending. Play your own story. I like that, but it's also kind of tedious towards the end when you've gotten everything and you're so self-sufficient. But I haven't got to that point yet, so we'll see. Uh, I can look at extra content. Let's look at my options. Yes, the music's all the way down. Good. Don't want to get striked for any music I don't have the rights to. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Uh oh. Hold on. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Okay, I can do it like this. But I want it full screen. And I would like the Imperial units because we are imperialistic here in America. Am I right? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Just kidding. Sorry, I should have done this beforehand. Let me make sure... Everything seems to be good. And obviously, I don't want to have a stressful stream or playthrough. So at this point, it's going to be a uh, pilgrim so I can, you know, not. What I'm. What basically, when I have nothing to eat, nothing to keep me warm, and I'm basically running around in the snow for a while, and I should be dead, it's going to let me live. So, but I think I'll be alright. And I'm going to start at Mystery Lake because it's the easiest place to start at. And I'm going to choose to play male. But you have the option to play female. And I think all that does is change your uh, hands and whatnot and your figure. And the overall just noises you make as a person. And it starts always as a mysterious geomagnetic storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? And it's funny how they, they advertise this game as being a, a apocalyptic survival game, but without zombies. And they put the emphasis on no zombies, which I can understand when people get into this and they're like, what's going on? I don't have any uh, 
Oh yeah, my mouse sensitivity is way up. Whoop. Still too much. Much better. All right. Hope I can still eat this. Uh, you're gonna have to, bud. And all the starting zones, for the most part. here also this is by far the best place to start at considering it's its own little you know self-contained hut and when I get out there it's gonna be kind of harsh sometimes you start out in the middle of the harshness this is and you have to find this place but I've been fortunate enough to start here several times and it's very helpful because you can stockpile your stuff here. Eh, like a little bit of supplies here and there. And then come back when you need to. See, like that rifle cleaning kit. It's nice to have. You have to have it for your rifle, but I don't start with a gun at all. So it's like, what's the point of having it? But when I come back, if I want to leave it here, I could, or I can bring it with me. But it, you have to all, you know, have to consider how much weight you're carrying all the time. You know, because if you go out and you don't have any wood, and you can't build a fire if you absolutely have to keep get warm. But at least I do know of the area, uh, it's like north of here off to the, you know, off a ways. It's like a, uh, a fishing hut. It's like a lake, frozen lake where they have fishing huts and stuff. And there's a nice house I can set up in. And so this, this area isn't going to be my permanent home. So I can take all I need and break down all the furniture I want and get, you know, I just got to make sure that when I'm done here, I'm done here. So you can break down crate to make wood, and if you have tools, it'll make it uh, quicker. <clears throat> Plus, you have a calorie count you have to worry about. So right now, it's slowly ticking down. The more I run and walk, it's going to tick down more, and doing things such as this is going to cost calories. Sitting around and waiting costs calories. Same with eating or uh, sleeping. This stuff will come in handy. Yeah, well, sadly, I don't think I started with, uh, <coughs> sometimes I might start with a hatchet, but I was not, I'm not lucky enough to do that now. Here's some of the items you can craft. Improvised knife, an improvised hatchet. Now, see, I have cloth, scrap metal, eh. Could end up being useful. I can start a fire and get some water. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know.
Well, he's got a little bit of water. I think I'm gonna split. I don't think there's anything here I really need. I am gonna break down some wood before I go, because as you can see, it's midday. I need a pry bar. So if I got a pry bar, I come back here and open this up. Let's see what it looks like. No point me farting around out here. I gotta get where I'm gonna go to because out I already took what I need from here and that's it. So the carcass is 50% more, or 50% frozen. You have can't use, cannot use my bare hand. So great. Oh, and there's a bear. How nice. And the problem is they don't give you like a any kind of pathway. I mean, sorta, but really you're taking your chances climbing on stuff like this. Okay, any any little bit of fall damage hurt pretty bad. Or you can break a leg, sprain an ankle. And it's important to pick up twigs when you can. Oh crap, is this what I'm thinking? I don't want to leave Mystery Lake. Oh, I could go. And maybe I'll wait until I need it. I know there's supplies down in this tunnel, but there's no point in me going there right now and getting up. I'm heading away from here. So, like, once I. I might make. come back around. I gotta go past that dang bear. I don't have to. I can go straight up ahead over it. Also, thank you all for watching. If you are live, you know, watching me live, or if you are watching me in replay, I want to thank you for your patronage. I do appreciate it. You're like that guy, I ain't gonna mess with him. I don't even have to be close to him right now. But I have to get my butt out of this cold. And I have to get somewhere new because obviously I just took all the resources from that last place. If I just sit there, I'm basically sitting on my hands. Like those logs up there would be good for fire, but I don't have anything to break them down in my hand, so it's gonna take a long amount of time. And the longer amount in this, if I sit out here and do something, it's gonna just eat away at my, you know, warmth. And
Like, that's quick and easy to pick up. I waste no energy grabbing it, so that's what I need to look for. See, I need a hatchet for that. But, see how I'm finding these pieces down here? Those will keep, uh, when I make a fire, I'll keep them burning nice and long. Now, I'm not too sure if those types of things are spawn after a while. You can only hope so. Oh, there's a moose. Or a caribou. <laughs> Those are the wolves I just walked past. I think it's this one. That looks like the train tracks that way. But if I'm not mistaken, there's a logging camp over here with some supplies. So let's get out of a higher vantage, you know, a higher point and see if I can't spot it. If I can spot it, I'll go over there. Because I know there's for sure a hatchet over in that uh, logging camp. Something over here. Oh, well, this is good enough. They should have just named this game, or game Canadian Guy Simulator. Like if I had this lantern turn on, it would keep my uh, keep me a little bit warmer, not by much. Feathers. <gasps> Nope, never mind. Just stick. And I hear wolves again. See, and they give you the option to m make a, a campfire out here and a, um, a shelter you can get underneath. But, like, literally, you can't do anything in it. You just huddle in a shelter, and I guess it keeps you warm, or, like, overnight. But. You know, the idea is that you gotta plan ahead and figure out what you need and where you're going and how you're getting there kind of deal. And it's kind of hard when you don't know this area. Luckily, I just know this a little bit. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I got a mic. I try to do it now and again. It's just easier to play and not have to talk over everything to basically commentate on what you're doing and when you're doing it. Unless you're very sarcastic. In which, you know, nobody's sitting here laughing at my jokes but me. 
but that's okay. All right, this is gonna be base camp for a couple days here. Mr. Lake. Yes, there are several little huts and houses around there. Plenty of food and supplies. And this house will serve as my base right now. <laughs> Luckily, there's no boogeymen in this game. Let's just put that right there. Can. Oh, soda. I get real cold, I could put the chair in the fire. I'll start a fire. So I got matches, and we can start with bark, and I have cedar firewood. And it tells you the percentage of the, you can start a fire, and if you have an accelerant, it'll give you a better chance of success. So just, just for right now, I'm going to start this fire. Oh yeah, it takes time. Looks like it worked. Of course it worked. I use gasoline, moron. So now I got at least two and a half hours of fire out of this. So now I'm getting warm. As you can see that down there at the bottom left of the screen, my <coughs> warmth meter is the first one over. Or first from the left, and that is showing two arrows going up, meaning I'm getting warmer. My eye, that little eye symbol is to represent my sleep meter, so I am definitely on just getting over halfway tired. And then water and hunger. And overall, bottom is my overall health. <gasps> Laptop? Man, I can get Gary's mod to work on it. I sit here and, and play sandbox all by my lonesome in the middle of the Arctic alone. Or it's probably fried. What have we here? Stack of papers. Or I can read like a like a loser. Like a nerd. Who reads anymore, man? Oh, you see that? It said kicking the beans. Nothing. Nothing but files in that filing cabinet. I think I can use this. See, but it's like, look, look right here. For one hour and 125 calories, I get four of these pieces of wood, and it's gonna use my, it's gonna have to use my hatchet, which will take durability away from it. So it's like, I ain't got time for that. Who's got time for that? Oh, another lantern. See, like, I can break these wheels down? That's cool. Wonder if this is any good to eat. <laughs> Musical fruit beans. That's fantastic. Ingredients, beans, water, sugar, and salt. Stack of papers. This will come in. Uh oh. Looks like I'm gonna be lost for a couple of days in here. Damn painkillers. This stuff will come in handy. Basically, just like a uh, crap load of firewood, some food, and a stove and bed in here. So, at some point, I'm gonna have too much on me, on my person, so then what I'm gonna do is like lay stuff out. So, like, if I have to, I'll put all my beans on a shelf or I'll put all my stuff on this countertop. So, like, this building will act as like my storehouse. So then I'll go around and collect stuff and drop it off here, and then like when I have to, I'll come back and you know repair my stuff or supply you know supply. Up. Oh, 
Also, cloth and uh, other things you use to repair your clothes. Ooh, dead guy. Frozen dead guy. Thank goodness. And he was drinking that purple stuff. Good old Stacy's purple stuff. Ingredients: carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural flavors, bull pocky. Natural my ass. This stuff's purple. I'm having way too much fun doing this. I could use this. Eventually, a source of knowledge. Or ah, uh, eventually, a source of knowledge. For now, something to burn when you're freezing. Feel dress your kill. I bet you this book don't teach you how to pop rabbit guts out of them with your bare hands. Only YouTube that does that. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Sweet. Oh, t shirt. I have pairs of thermals like these, and they are amazing. They literally can take, a, you know, a below freezing day. I, I just don't understand why people wouldn't wear those under your jeans or whatnot while you're out what about the cold. That extra layer is just so nice. Oh, boots. Who? Now, okay. This is why I think this game is funny in this sense. Is they put shoes like this in there that would make no sense at all for you to wear out in the snow, but compared to what you have in some spots. And if they, if your shoes break while you don't have any call to repair them, it could be very helpful. I think I can use this. Just a bunch of crap. I gotta go check that fire soon. Like I got all these cooking pots and stuff, so. This is helpful when there is no bed around and you have to sleep. Uh oh. A scrawled musings of survivors who was here before you. A note left behind. Ben Bensty and I Bensty and I came up this way for let's call him Bentley. Bentley and I came up this way in the summers when we were knocked uh we were not need goofy kids. We finished and played with swords and made out of sticks. We loved. We wove or uh, wove baskets from the reeds. You could row across the lake. There's little cabins at the far end where tourists came and finish. Or came and fish. Oh, God, I'm I'm illiterate. <clears throat> Hunted the deer and had their parties. We stood behind the counters and watched Dad welcome them. Look at the guest book and read the names. When the summer was nearing its end and the cattails turned to fluff, we blew our wishes to the sky, always to come back, always. Contributed by Backer, hashtag 4675. Thank you, Backer, 4675. We'll love your note from years to come. But for now, I'm going to burn it. Because I don't need it. Ooh, I can break that down. That's cool. I gotta keep this fire going. At least for a little bit. save my big fire log for when I'm gonna need them next time I make a fire. If I use that as the base, it'll give me a nice good hour and a half, two hours burn. I got two of those, I don't want to waste them. And I don't even really need the fire. You don't need the fire all night, you know, unless you're absolutely cold and you gotta be outside, you know. You can go to sleep and 
you know, I, I've done it where I didn't keep the fire going all night and I died out in the, out in the wilderness. Oh, I see. So you can make. Alright, so like if you don't have a cooking pot on you, you can use one of these tin cans. Honestly, though. Oh, okay. See, before you had to sit here and wait, but now you can put. Yeah, you can melt snow. Alright. They're gonna sit here and pass the time on belt. Oh man, it's dark. <laughs> That's cool. Now it's literally like, instead of, uh, it's like, uh, clothing durability management now. And the pain that this becomes. Because then it's like, alright, you gotta look at what attributes they give you, and then figure out what's the best bet for what you're going for, and then make sure you maintain those, you know, specific ones. But, like, it'll tell you your condition for it, so, like, stuff that's... This is getting low, and this is only for that slot, so what I'll do is I'll prepare it. But, I don't have... Do I have a sewing kit? Oh, yeah, yes I do. Sweet! Cool, so, you know, you got a sewing kit, and this is what you do in your in-between hours. Oh, I guess it didn't work. See, oh, see, you get a chance to success, too. So... Alright, now I'm um, at 59, so I can sit here and keep repairing it with the same piece. Or, you know, it's not gonna... It's not gonna repair every time the correct map. Like, I've had one, I had one good attempt in this for two, like, see, it keeps failing. Somehow I fail at sewing. So close my eyes. Oh, it's because I'm sleepy. Wow, what a waste of uh, I wasted all my cloth on that. And all my water boiled away. What the heck? This is a lot different than I remember.
Like, this is what I hate about this game. Like, now I gotta start another fire. Just because I stupidly sat there and let all my water. Oh, man. Well, to come on. Come on. I should just wait until morning time, get some sleep under my belt, but. I'm determined to get this water done. Have fun. I'm virtually pl I'm playing a game where I'm virtually melting snow with a virtual fire. How exciting. That'll come in handy. That didn't work. Come on. Come on. That did it. See, they changed all this. 
They actually physically put the beans on the, you know, they got, it actually has a cooking spot. You don't just open the uh, menu of the oven. So, that's pretty cool. I definitely like that change. It adds a little bit more to the aesthetics of the game. You know, you actually have to interact with things instead of just pick stuff up and just put deal with it in your inventory. Sometimes that can be nice, sometimes it can be a pain in the ass. As you can see, I'm still at like half my uh, sleeping half, you know, sleep. So what I'll do is, I don't know. This will come in handy.
All right. I'm going to go around here and search for some stuff. There we go. Is it food or? See, this is one of the fishing huts I was talking about. Basically, you gotta keep this thing. I had a bed roll out in one of these. And I had to keep the fire going, right, to keep me warm. Because if you're out in the elements, you're not gonna be, you know, you're not gonna be warm at all. And then I had this thing I was basically getting food out of. But it is not at all safe. Sucks because it's foggy right now. I can't really see who the other ones are. There's one. And another dead guy. That's great. Two so far. It's like, why wouldn't I take his shoes off of him? Look at them boots. Those boots are a lot better than the little leather shoes I got. Come on, man. Uh, everybody's dead, dude. You can have everything. You don't see anybody calling the cops on you, taking all this crap. I mean, come on. At some point, I'm gonna have too much on me. I'm gonna have to double back. those buildings and then come back hit that place and go back that way. So that's at this point the first few days is just literally stockpiling stuff. Yeah. Food, wood, matches, even water. Whatever I can. Another dead guy. Use this. <laughs> With one bullet in his back. That's weird. I need a gun. Ooh. Those fire logs are so helpful. Like, I can break these down, but as you can see, it's gonna take an hour and a half and so many calories. So, if I get de that's like if I get desperate and I <clears throat> or if I have the time and energy, I can you know get firewood this way, but most likely, I'm not going to. Oh, another backer. There's nothing left. The matches got wet, and I'm down to a couple tins of peaches and a can of pop. I don't know what to do. I want to go, but where do I go? There's wolves. 
uh, yada yada. A doll knife rock like the world, blah blah blah. I'm gonna probably burn your note because no one liked you. You're probably the dead guy over there who had the bullet in your backpack because you're weird. This stuff will come in handy. Like before, the other playthrough I did, I would just, you know, I'd break down what I could as far as wood while I was out. But I think what I'll do is drop everything back off, and then go take this, you know, I'll take the opportunity of having empty bags, and then go collect as much wood and cloth as I can. See, like, there's bench shelves and stuff I can all sh break all this down and get wood from, but I won't have the time. Radios don't work. Nothing. Off to the next. See, like, now I'm over full. I'm over encumbered, so. Silly me. I think I need to lay down. Yeah, dude. It's like, luckily I know this stuff right here by memory. I did it a couple times before, so. Basically, it's going to be clean up this uh, lake of all its resources I can. <coughs> Stockpile them in that house, the ranger house, and then I'll use that as where I need to move from here to there. But eventually, it's like, it's, this game for, almost forces you to, you know, keep moving. One of these buildings had a door on it. Yeah, I was just...
So I do have a hankering to play a little bit of dark wood just because I finally got to a new area and it's gonna, you know, I can explore. But that thing that attacked me in the middle of, like, when nightfall hit, I don't know if it was because I didn't have my oven lit in the other building. I thought, like, once you lit the oven, they're all lit, you know, like, but I guess when you go from hideout to hideout, you gotta light the oven. Something's making me feel really tired. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. Wish I had a knife though, I can cut up some cloth. Again, I want to thank everybody who is watching me live and watching the playback of my gameplay. I want to thank you very much for your patronage and your continuing of viewership. See, I only have one of those accelerants, but I think that is what I use to fill up in the lantern. And I would, if I need light, oh crap. Why didn't that come on? So, saving up lantern oil and fluid, you know, lighter fluid like that is very essential for that. Damn it. Pretty well. Oh, 
Oh, I can make coffee. Cool. Stock up some more water while I'm here. Yeah, why wait for I can try to repair some of my items. As far as my clothing. This I absolutely have to fit. Same with these. But I can salvage the other pair. Oh, actually, I'm gonna wear these. And I'm gonna salvage these. Really, I'm burning up through a lot more wood than I should be, but, you know, at this point, it's to, I need to get all my items to as best quality as I can, get rid of all the inventory I got in my backpacks, and then go stockpile some wood. This because there might be some days I just have to sit in here and just kind of make it get through a couple days. I'm not sure. I am enjoying this playthrough so far. There we go again. I burnt. I burnt something else on here by not paying attention to what I was doing. See, in 15 minutes I'll be ready. So there's no point in me farting around trying to do something for this amount of time. I should just cook it, and eat it.
Alright, sorry about that. See, like, that's what I was talking about. Stockpiling things. Because even if it is a daytime and I'm ready to go out and explore and have enough to be able to go out and come back, there might be a storm out there and I can't do anything because if I go out there, it's just like a death sentence. So, I mean, there are factors involved. Oh, uh, it tells you your day is what you've done. Okay, that's cool. Notes. Something else I needed to do, I just can't put my finger on it right now. Yeah, I'm not too sure on these two. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to put my stuff down without... If I add it to my radio menu, I can pl place it down properly.
could end up being useful. I apologize for this being so boring. My OCD is starting to kick in a little bit, so I'm trying to get this, uh, all this stuff put out properly. I wish I could pick and place up, place everything I grab, but I guess I just can't. So I guess I'm just gonna have to settle for putting certain things up. I'm gonna hold one of those bullets just in case. And I don't need this sewing kit, I'll have one on me. I don't see. Okay, now I need all this, but I'm going to leave at least two logs here. Uh, I'll keep that on me just in case. God forbid I'm in a life or death situation with the fire. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna gather as much stuff as I can right now. That's a big pile of crap, see? Yeah, it looks dumb. I like it like this, where it's all put up nice and neat and stuff. So it's just laptop wasn't here. Alright. Time to go gather up some more stuff. See, and they and this would be strategically placed straight out from the front door. See that all the way up there? Haven't been there, but I kind of want to go now. But first things first, I gotta go through the rest of this lake camp and gather up as much supplies as I can.
Like, I can gather all these cattails and stuff for food, but I think I'm gonna all off just now. I think, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna spend the next couple days, or at least today, I'm gonna gather, gather up all I can and as much wood as I can. God, I wish I had a rifle to get some deer. I don't need these guys right now. And I believe that this game adjusts how fast you run based on your carrying weight. I haven't figured that out for a fact, but it seems to be that way. Okay, I haven't been there, and I haven't been there yet. I think this is the one ice fishing hut with the door, which is nice to keep you uh, from safe from wolves and stuff. But, I mean, I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, so I don't have to worry about that as much. The interloper, the interloper. What have we here? Sweet. I can now start cutting down pillows. And the wee stone will help me sharpen my axe, my keep my hatchet and my knife working. And I got scrap metal. I need five of them for something, something in my uh, crafting thing. And if I'm lucky, and if I get that desperate where I have to fish for food, I can come out here and do it. But I do not like coming out here because the weather changes on you in like a you know, drop of a hat. It can be sunny and clear like this. You know, and all of a sudden a, snor a storm blow through, and then you're out here in the elements, and you have to keep your fire going. And then you run out of wood. Uh-oh, what do you do? Well, you, s you freeze to death. Like, that playthrough was brutal. and But that playthrough gave me the just the a taste of what this game can do. But I'm taking it very uh, cautiously this time. I apologize if you guys hear anything in the background as far as TV or, you know, Hope such needs this anymore. Like I said, I gotta gather as much wood as I can right now. See, like, this takes an hour and a half to break down, but... Oh, I didn't see this. Charcoal. See, this is worth it, because I'll at least get cloth from this thing. I just spent the whole day breaking up this whole part, or, uh, little shack. 
But I got some wood. Ooh, cool. See, but now I'm over encumbered right now, just by oh, like ten pounds. Damn. Well, literally, I got a knife, which is gonna be helpful, and that thing to repair my items, my tools. And I still got like a, another third of this place to explore. So all I'll do is I'll go back, drop my uh, wood off, and hopefully I'll have still enough uh, <clears throat> energy to go back out and hit another uh, hut or two. I hope I'm explaining everything enough for everybody to kind of grasp and comprehend if you've never played this game. And that's kind of hard with a two-year-old screaming and talking right next to me. And he's always wanting to put cars on my desk and play with the hand I got my mouse on. Like, if you ever want to experience that, just have someone sit there and watch you play a game, and then every so now again, have them just sh shove your hand to the left. Or, like, just run something in your hand and while you're trying to play a game. After a while, you get the hang of it, you just adjust to it. But it is very difficult to get used to, considering I've been doing this for how many years, and I haven't had, you know, the interference of someone mushing me and throwing hot wheels at my head. I'm gonna need to rest soon. Oh, no, you couldn't. Anything? You're gonna eat? Alright, eat that table. <laughs> you can't. Can you, bro? Oh, I had one here all along. It's like I'm acting as the Archon possessing, possessing this man who's, who's traveling through the Arctic by himself. Reality, this is hell for him. But he doesn't know that. I wish they had the option to like build a chest so you could store items. Cause like I said at this point I'm just gonna be throwing things on the floor. Well, that didn't work.
Yeah, I'd rather sit here and stare at a can for uh, 10 minutes game time than screw up and boil them up too much. Because that's irritating. Especially when you use a full, you know, a uh, good condition of uh, food. You know, it's going to give you a lot of food back in return. But nope, not this. Oh, and the other thing. The other thing, too, is I'm going to probably lay my bed roll out right here. So I don't have to worry about going all the way upstairs to sleep. But I'm not sure if it changes the at how much rest you get versus how much rest you wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like is one better than the other? Ideally, should be you be looking for a bed, or does it matter where you fall asleep? These are the questions. Like, I'm literally gonna eat these cattail stalks so I can just kinda scoop. Free calories, man! here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. Uh, did you hear that? Alright. Now I am for sure exhausted. Obviously. So while I have this fire cooking, I should try to do some stuff with my clothes again. Considering I also got a bunch more uh, cloth. Because the higher durability that your items have, the better resistance to the elements they'll have. But I'm getting irritated that I keep failing at repairing my stuff. I guess another way to describe this game would be a cult resource management. Because obviously you gotta figure out how best to, you know, manage what you have and what you're gonna need. Literally doing this now is going to help me in the long run because if I'm out running around and something breaks on me and I'm out in a snowstorm, uh, it's like I'm going to be running around with my pants around my ankles. So I'm not going to be good. So I'd rather be best equipped and all straight and straight now.
and just like that, as soon as I go and go to the dark, I can't do anything. So. Like, I love when games have electrical components as far as, like, in, integrated into the game. Like, um, like Minecraft, there's certain mod packs where you can actually build, you have an in-game in um, computer system, which you could program and do, have all kinds of stuff, do to, you know, it can do all kinds of stuff. I'm not smart enough to sit there and learn it as far as take the time to do it, but I do have friends that know how to do it, and it's pretty cool. starting to get somewhere as you can see here's here are my bonuses I got a warmth bonus of 18 windproof bonus and protection obviously I'm not gonna have max of everything at some point I'll have to have trade-offs but you know this is a good start what I want is to get rid of this vest and have I want to get rid I need something like a big winter coat right and these are good and these thermals are good, but I need another pair of pants, another pair of socks, and I don't know what accessories are. Look at all my stuff.
Okay, I need to take a five minute break, people. I'm going to throw my overlay up while I take my break. Very bad. Thank you all for watching. I'm still AFK right now. I'm making my son lunch real quick, and then I'm going to get back to playing the game. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching live, thank you. And if you are tuning in later, I apologize. I'll make a note down in the uh, description of what time I uh, come back to game playing. So, uh, couple, two, about two, three more minutes. Thank you.
All right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. I apologize again. If any of you have small children, you understand that when it's time to eat lunch, you got to make them some. Can't just throw crackers at them. Now I forgot what I was doing and what I'm going to do. So while I sit here for a sec, and as I ponder, let me just think. Oh, whoops. All right, I actually I do apologize. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream here and pick up from it uh later date. I apologize for uh, making you all wait. What I'll do is I'll just note in the description or I'll put something in the video that just says, hey, at this point, I uh, just, you know, I stopped playing. You know, uh, basically, I'm getting all my view time in real time. People are rarely coming and watching, you know, much of the video at all after I uh, post it. So. I'm just going to stop here. <clears throat> I might stream uh, another game that I'm playing for a little bit, but uh, we'll see. So uh, I just want to say thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.